it kind of like the the quill pen in this one much more than I did in the skull with lots of cross hatching and whatnot. And I did the ink wash and I felt it came out pretty well. Um, now I'd say this is my second favorite. That was like kind of about the art making process is that there were elements and uh, principles uh, behind what was actually put on the paper. Um, like a lot of the other students said, they would stare at the paper before they decided what they were going to put on the paper. Um, so just knowing that there was just rules to drawing. Um, I always just kind of like went at it and it ended up kind of messy and it really helps like organize everything and also to figure out what I want to use to produce like the idea I have because I've only ever drawn in pencil before this class and so now I see like it helps to think about those types of things. Um, I also never knew about like the whole spraying your artwork when it's finished and like taping it off to make a clean look so I think um, I really learned how to organize. And strangely enough it's kind of angular in a sense. It's not really that flowy. Looking up here it's kind of hard to say that because a lot of the lines are very flowy, but the art that I do on my own is more angular than this. The, the grass coming out of the cracks, but I just couldn't get to that point because it would have been a whole nother concept. <laughs> and uh, that's another thing that I do. I'll I'll introduce a new concept to my composition, and then I have to go back and change the whole thing. You know what I mean? So, for instance, on this one, um, this line in the middle was going to be white with like eraser uh, marks coming out of it, and then one of the eraser marks was going to be tinted red and kind of uh, shine up onto these so that it would actually shine onto the corresponding bar. And then I just didn't really have time for that, and I, I, I didn't really like how this turned out all grainy in here, but uh, the ghost at my house stole my Conti crayon last night at like 3 in the morning, so. This class for fun, I always wanted to take an art class, and um, I never got the chance to in high school because I was in choir four years straight. And um, I, uh, I learned a lot of techniques and a lot of... A little bit of organization. I really don't do a lot of sketchbook work, but when it came to Kirby, and it, it symbolizes a lot of stuff, like all of my Alice in Wonderland stuff, like in her head, in her hair, it says off of her head. Oh, the first thing I learned from the sketch, uh, sketching book, that that is very important tool to begin a class and anywhere else. Because I, I, I touch on my sketchbook go anywhere whenever I want to draw. I see I do it. I fly in my sketchbook. After that, I use this. For the project, and then I learned how to use the shape, the line, the form, the shading, and also study up the master artist like which is Van Gogh, Kandinsky, uh, Pollock, Mir, Mir, something like that. I learned how to compose the objects to use a negative and a positive space. I think that I know a, lot, know a lot more about shadow. I know what you know that there's nine shades of value. I know what to call things. I know there's colors, and I think about that before. Now when I look at Walt Disney cartoons, I'm thinking, what color combination is it? <laughs> right. Yeah. Other than that, um, as far as my style goes, I know what techniques I use, but I'm not positive what I would call it. I guess I have a touch of realism with some things. I think that happens because when I'm drawing something, I'm thinking about.